and Bucks Tycoon, where we are going to be continuing to expand our very own production company. Last episode, guys, we kind of built a very, very basic setup right now. Just very, very basic, very, very simple. Dropping those woods and those stones to make your boy some sweet cash money moolah. So we can continue the expansions today. Now, what I want to do today, then, is actually go to tier 2 and unlock a brand new set of items. And then hopefully slowly build some kind of base. I'm still not entirely sure what I'm going to be building just yet. But I feel like we need to build a decent sized base so we can create more monies, more cash in our pockets. So, guys, if you do enjoy this, want to see more, then please make sure you smash the like button down below. If you want to really make sure you do, subscribe so you're notified when that next episode does come out. And straight away, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go straight to upgrade to the next tier. Which unlocks lanterns, stone stairs, wooden tables, iron droppers. Ooh, stone rails and up rails. Does this mean it's faster than the ones I've currently got now? We're going to find out. But also a two-way collector too. So we can make some interesting, interest, very interesting uh, setups right now. Oh, damn. Look at the new stuff I can unlock in the future. Holy moly. So, I've got 29,000 currently in the bank. If I go to build... Uh, forget the design stuff just yet. This is the stuff I can kind of get on the go. Uh, it's a stone rail that raises money upwards. Nice. Um, droppers. I can go all the way up to the iron dropper right now, which is 4500 which makes $12 every five seconds. I do have the time to game pass as well, so it's having me get even more money more quicker. And hopefully we can get a few more upgraders as well. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Two-way collectors too. So we can get more and more stuff kind of low-key connected. So, we need a game plan. We need a game plan right now. I'm looking around to see what everybody else is doing right now. Actually, this server is kind of um, full of people who just kind of started. That dude over there right now has got something on the go which looks pretty interesting. So, let's see what kind of building blocks that we got to work with so we can kind of slowly start designing something. So we have wooden blocks and we have logs, so we can kind of slowly start building like a small base or something like that. Do you know what we should do? We should low-key build a little miniature warehouse. We've got some stone bricks, some uh, bright bricks. I thought they were going to say brick bricks right there. That would have been funny. And, um, okay, what else? We've got upgrades, no, collectors, uh, etc. This is the stuff that we can kind of put on the inside. Ooh, okay. Right. So let that do what it's going to do. Your boy's going to slowly start to build a miniature warehouse. So, this is the question right now. Do I build it with stone? Or do I build it with wood? Because it's going to be kind of a little bit cheaper to build it with wood. But I think we'll kind of start with the columns being stone or brick. No, we'll go with stone. So, if I go one, two, three, four. Is four high enough or should we go for five? We'll go for five, and then we'll bring this across then. So we'll kind of then go on to use... Oh, it's a tough one, isn't it? The bright brick. How's that? Yes. So if I go across by three. One, two, three. Right, because I know you can put down like a double door. So I won't have it there, but I will have it on the front of, of my base. So let's say... I'm going to have to move all this stuff, but let's say I had it round about here that double door yo this is going to be so expensive this is going to be so expensive to build what i want to build right now so stone one two three four five and over here we got a free gap one two three four five now inside this we'll have our droppers and we'll have the conveyors then kind of oh i misplaced that we'll have the conveyors then slowly progress into outside of the factory this is going to be a very interesting boys very interesting right now so if i build it like this one two three come down by two bam i kind of want a window i don't know how how high do i have the window all right if I, oh no i'm messing up i'm messing up right now let me just get all this stuff down i want high walls in the factory so we can kind of low-key see what we're doing now let me remove some stuff so remove you remove you I'm going to do a double wide window like this. You can kind of jump through it, but we will change that up. And that is the kind of the beginning of the back of the beautiful factory right now. I think we'll kind of get rid of these. Nice. And drop some glass in. Let some light in, boy. So, like I said, we're going to have droppers and all that kind of jazz. Um, actually, you know what? No. I will do windows, but I won't do them at the back. We'll do them at the side. That makes a little bit more sense, doesn't it? 
it does. So remove you. Nice. And we're going to then start positioning a lot of our droppers. So I want it to kind of come out the side, the conveyor system, then into a collector we have a little bit further down, like in like our little distribution area. But all the droppers should be on the inside right now. Now, I can't move, unfortunately. Uh, you can't rearrange current droppers, so we're going to have to kind of sell everything. Or just kind of remove right now. It's okay. I've got some sweet cash money moolah that I can, you, you know, spend. And if I just build a very quick basic line of walls, just so I know where my boundaries currently are, right? Just so I know where my boundaries currently are. And I think what we should do as well is we should actually kind of utilize the ramps and have it ramp up and then kind of go out of the building at a higher level than where we were producing the stuff. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? That would be pretty cool. So droppers then. I can have up to 20 droppers. So if I start with the wood ones... And um, we kind of do one, two, three, four, five, six. Then the stone ones I can do here. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're dropping coins to nowhere at the moment. Right. And then we'll get some iron droppers down then. So actually, no, let me do the uh, the rails first. So let's go with the stone rails. Right, I'm able to squeeze this in. One, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. So to come out like this. And then if I have the iron dropper right now. So I place this over here. One. Can I afford a second one? Yeah, they are super expensive right now. Super expensive. But the stone railings. Two, three. Right, and then eventually I'm going to bring them all down to like a central point. But um, what I could actually do is rotate you that way. Right, I'm kind of creating some form of a design right now. And so I bring you out, rotate you this way. Because they've all got to kind of come into the center to some degree. And stone railing going up. So I can make you go up, make you go up, make you go up. Right, make you... Oh, that's a point as well, because we got to make them also kind of connect at the same marker point. Now, do I make them all go up this way? I don't think so just yet. If I bring you up, bring you up. Right, we'll remove you. Just so I can... Oh! Okay. <laughs> that looked like it connected from above. <laughs> hey, be foolish! Like this, so it's all going up. And um, we'll make it go straight out. Like that. Now, we need these to kind of connect to it as well. So, if I bring these stone railings up. Right. Are at the same level? We are at the same level. So, then what we do is if I try and rotate it. There we go. Boom. Looks a bit funky, but I kind of want the craziness inside of the factory right now. So, they all go for up there. It gives me lots of room underneath to kind of walk around, which is going to be interesting. Now, I need to connect this one up to it as well. So, if I remove you, like I said, guys, I'm building something a little bit mental, a little bit crazy right now. Right, up and up. This can then directly connect into here like that. And then we have everything all going around. So, it looks a bit funky, but I'm liking how it all elevates up above my head so I can walk into my little factory right now and pretty much... It all funnels into the sky and then outside of here, which is pretty sweet. I like it. I like it. So once I built all the walls around it, you won't even see inside the building. That's how crazy it's going to be. And then we can get more stuff set up then. So I do need to make some cash. So I'm going to bring this further out. Now, what I want to do is I want to kind of build a small little area over here. So if I kind of go for the same design and what we'll do is we'll kind of build it here. So we go one there there and i'll bring this further down so about there and there so we'll have like an entry point with a door and have the walls going all the way around it there we go there we go i'll get a quick door on it right now so you can kind of see how this is going to work and then we'll get quickly the stones i'm wasting so many coins as well which is hilarious I right, get that up. So we need a collector. 
at the minute, it doesn't really matter about having a two-way collector. I'm just going to put this one collector just here. Now, we need this to kind of... I'm going to bring this a bit down, round, and then kind of in. Just for the fun of it. Literally just for the fun of it right now. So if I bring in this down... So one, two... Is it three high? We did one, two, three, I believe. Oh, there's a dude here with a pumpkin head. What's going on, you damn folio? Um, but let me just quickly get this in. Bam, bam. Now, is this above the door? Yes, I can get one block in, which is going to be interesting. I want to get you going that way. So it means removing that. Okay, we're going to have to do it again. Right, delete you as well. Might as well delete you. Right, spin these round. Right, here we go, boys. We've got a design. I'm liking the elevation of it all. That is my favorite part of this. Visually, you can see it all coming together. Right. Bam. Is that the last one? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bam. I think we've got it, boys. I think we've got it right now. And now we're going to be making that sweet cash money bola. So it does look really, really weird at the minute. But that's because we don't have the building all built up and fully expanded. But now... It's all going down. We're making some sweet cash money moolah right now. The only thing we don't have it doing is going for an upgrader. So what I think we should do is kind of slightly change this up a little bit. And as soon as it enters the building, we then make it go down. Or shall I actually scrap this idea of it? Unless I make the building a little bit longer. Right, I'm going to make the build a little bit longer here. Because I'm realizing right now, your boy's got to build some upgraders. I do have to build some upgraders. So one, two, three, four, five. That's probably as far as you want to take the upgraders right now. Because you can have a maximum of five upgraders. So we'll keep it to that. So wherever this now kind of connects in is how we're going to sort out the front of the building. So while it does what it's got to do, upgraders, they're 1,500. I can do one. I can do two. I've dropped two upgraders down. Jadius. Absolute Jadius. And then we'll bring this to here. And then the bricks. So then my door takes place. Let me get the door real quickly. Quickly, Sadia. Quickly, you fall. There. The brick then goes here. So you can kind of see how it then enters the building. Well, I placed that wrong, didn't I? So that kind of skedaddles through. Right, why is it not removing? There we go. There we go. Um, get this stone. So is that five going up then? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's five high. Which is perfect. It's the height that we need it for the other side as well. Nice. And then the bricks could pretty much skedaddle all the way through. Which we'll get that set up a little bit later. But I'll do a second layer anyway. And that's where your boy makes his sweet cash money moolah. So we're starting to get a little factory. we got the little production building where we produce everything. That will be eventually hidden. And then we have the inside bit where we sell it all, where we've got all our sweet, sweet upgraders. We can have another three, because you can have five in total. And I can have another six as well, um, droppers, which three there, three there. That becomes six iron, if you want to work it that way. And then I've got room here to build another set and then kind of bring it straight up, if needs be, to connect it to here. It's going to be very interesting, but very, very, very expensive kind of setup right now. We'll take some time, but this would be a great little feature. I got a little walkway underneath we can kind of do stuff with. So it's the beginning of your boy's production company, the warehouse that I am currently building. So I need 28,000 to be able to get to the next tier. Interesting. Interesting. No one's voted for my boy's tycoon right now. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. But it's okay. It's okay. We've got a double door. And let's continue the build then. So, in etc., we have lanterns. I can slow... Messed that up, didn't I? I can slow... Oh, there's 600 big ones apart. Okay, I can slowly add some lanterns to the design features. 
So they're a bit higher. That's a little bit lower because it's a different style of building. But looking good. Looking real good right now. So more upgraders there. 9,500 to get to the next one. Holy smokes. Um, droppers. 4,800 for another iron dropper is what I can focus on next. So we're going to drop that down, boys. We're going to drop that down right now. And um, still, nobody wants to like you, boys. Thank God. Hey, you! Like my tycoon! It's the best around! <laughs> oh, um, You on YouTube? Listen, dude. I might be on YouTube, but I am. I, I really would like a like. You could be my first like. Dude, you could be my first like right now. You could... Oh! Did he like it? I've got one vote. I got one vote! Did I always have one vote? I don't know. But I got one vote. Yay! Appreciate it. What's this, Bolly? Appreciate it, dude. If you, if you press that like button, appreciate it. I like you. Because you like my base. <laughs> so, right. I'm getting too carried away right now, aren't I? I'm getting way too carried away. So, back into build then. And these blocks. There, I just realized there are 110 a pop. So, when I'm dropping these down, they are costing your boy an absolute fortune right now. Maybe I should have went for a five high in length because now i'm realizing how much cash money moolah i'm actually spending it's a pretty penny it is a pretty penny to the point right now where i've got no money left damn right the glass blocks we should actually figure out how we want to do the windows so if i jump here then so is there like a central location if i go one two three one two three um, do a free gap either side for a nice glass block. Oh, they're 150. Okay, they're serious cash. They're serious cash right now. 150. Come on, I need another 150 coming in up right now. Another 150. Another 150. Boom. Okay, right. We've got. We've got a design. It's expensive, but we got a design. Well, what's this dude over here doing right now, Mister? Pork Chop 90. He is, um, got, ooh, okay, he's going around the Recon. Mmm, interesting. Okay, Pork Chop. Okay, I like it. I like it. What's this dude over here doing right now? Because he's got some serious droppers going all the way down. What's the purpose of this? Why can't I jump up like that? There we go. He is making it all drop down. He's got walls to make sure there's no overspill. Which I don't get, because in the same spacing, you could just have straight conveyors going in. But is it more a case of making sure everything actually falls in? I think so. That's probably, a, like, a good idea. Am I having spillage? Are we having slight spills with some of the coins? I don't think we are, so there was no need. But then again, there was no need for me to build something as crazy and ridiculous as what I'm building right now. But I did it anyway! So this does look pretty good, though, doesn't it? It does. So we need, then... Um, 28,000 to upgrade and expand. It's going to give us a new upgrader, which is really, really exciting. Also, some new materials and a new dropper. Those materials mean that we can make some pretty beastie looking designs and make our factories look so much more expensive and luxurious. I'm quite excited to see where this goes. But we're going to end it for here, guys. We're going to grind out some serious cash right now. But... We're going to be making some serious money. Hopefully, if I can get to the next tier, next episode, we can turn our factory golden. Woo! That's how you know your boy's going to get that serious cash ready, Moolah. But until next time, I will see you all soon. So, goodbye.